The Sun is one star among thousands in the Milky Way. Many of them, like the Sun, have their own systems. Some are quite bright, while others have such low brightness that we can't even see them from Earth, despite their proximity. You're probably familiar with Proxima and Alpha Centauri, the stars closest to our Sun. There are other stars very close to them that we hear little about. These points represent the 10 stars closest to our Sun, within a radius of 10 light years. Let's visit these nearby stars and their planets. Before we start this journey, we first need to understand that the distance will be measured in light years. A light year is a unit of distance equivalent to the distance that light travels in one year, about 9.5 trillion kilometers. As a reference, the sun is eight light minutes away from us. If we could travel at the speed of light, which we can here, it would take us eight minutes or slightly more to reach it. First star is a tiny red star called Proxima Centauri in the constellation of Centaurus. Let's go to it. Being the closest star, there are no other stars in this space. This space is a partial vacuum with low particle density and is composed of hydrogen and helium plasma, electromagnetic radiation, magnetic fields, neutrinos, interstellar dust, and cosmic rays. Even though it is the closest star, it is a considerable distance. With the fastest spacecraft ever produced, traveling this distance would take more than 8,500 years. That is longer than the entire recorded history of human civilization. This shows how vast the distances in space are. It is closer to the sun, about 4.2 light years away, which is why it holds the title of the closest star to us. Even being the closest star, four light years is still a considerable distance, about 40 trillion kilometers. Its brightness and size are very low compared to other more distant stars, and we cannot see it from Earth without equipment. It has a planetary system known as Proxima A, B, and C. Highlighting Proxima B, which was discovered in 2016, a potentially habitable planet. It has a suitable temperature for having liquid water on its surface. Right next to it, we have Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri consists of two stars, known as a binary star system, made up of Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Alpha Centauri A is a star with a diameter 20% larger than our Sun and slightly hotter, at around 5,600 degrees Celsius and twice the luminosity of our Sun. Alpha Centauri B is smaller and dimmer, with about 85% of the Sun's diameter, a cooler temperature of around 5,000 degrees Celsius and half the Sun's luminosity. They are two yellow dwarfs that orbit each other.
at a distance of 5.96 light years, we reach Barnard's star, a red dwarf with low brightness, located in the constellation of Ophiuchus. In 2018, researchers were able to detect the existence of a super-Earth. The planet was named Barnard's Star B. It occupies the position of the second closest known rocky planet to Earth. It orbits its host star with a period of 234 Earth days. Data collected suggests the planet could be a super-Earth with a mass of at least three times that of Earth. Like Proxima Centauri, Barnard's star is a red dwarf, meaning it is a cool, low-mass star, illuminating the planet it orbits very little. So little that researchers believe the light the star gives to its planet is only about 2% of the solar energy Earth receives. Despite being relatively close to its star, half the distance between Earth and the Sun, the exoplanet is near the snow line a region where volatile compounds such as water can condense into ice. Thus, this icy and dark world might have an average temperature of around minus 170 degrees Celsius, making it hostile for life as we know it. Next on our list is Lumen 16, located in the constellation of Vela. It is 6.6 .6 light years away from our planet. It is a binary star system of brown dwarfs. Their brightness is so low that they cannot be observed with the naked eye from Earth. They have a diameter six times that of Earth and 20 times that of the Sun with temperatures of around 1,350 and 1,250 degrees Celsius. Of the stars we will see, these are the dimmest. They even have a photosphere very different from others. The stars orbit each other, just like Alpha Centauri. Now let's go to Wolf 359, located 7.8 light years from Earth, in the constellation of Leo. Although it's astronomically close to us, it shines so dimly that it's not visible to the naked eye from Earth. Wolf 359 is a red dwarf, about 40% of the diameter of the Sun, and just over half of its temperature at around 3,050 degrees Celsius. Researchers suggest that Wolf 359 is a relatively young star, less than a billion years old. At 8.3 light years from Earth, we encounter Lalande 21185, another red dwarf located in the constellation of Ursa Major. Lalande 21185 is a cold red dwarf, about 70% of the diameter of the Sun, and with a brightness 180 times less, making it too faint to be seen with the naked eye from Earth. This star has attracted attention because it is believed to possess planets. The suspected planet seems to be about 12 million kilometers from the star. If this planet were placed in our solar system, it would be three times closer to the Sun than Mercury. Its orbital period is 12 Earth days. To detect the planet, researchers analyzed hundreds of photos taken over the last 50 years. And in several photos, they noticed a small change in the speed at which Lalande travels towards the sun. And they realized that at certain intervals, this speed was slightly decelerated, as if something were pulling the star backward. It's a clear sign that there is a body revolving around it. When this body is on the opposite side to the direction of motion, its force ends up holding back the star. And in 2017, this planet was confirmed, named Lalande 211 85b. The planet has a diameter of 1.5 times that of Earth. Let's now go to one of the most impressive nearby stars, a majestic and bright star.
Its system is composed of Sirius A and Sirius B and is located about 8.5 light years from Earth in the constellation of Canis Major. The combined brightness of both stars makes Sirius the brightest star in our night sky, and it is visible from anywhere on Earth. Sirius A is a main-sequence white star with a diameter almost twice that of the Sun and a temperature of around 9,230 degrees Celsius. Sirius B, technically not a star anymore, is the remnant of a star called a white dwarf, similar to what our Sun will become in a few billion years. In a previous video, we made an exclusive visit to the Sirius system. Check out that journey after this one. Eight point seven light years from Earth, we find Lighten seven hundred and twenty six eight also known as Gliese 65, located in the constellation of Cetus. This is a binary star system. The first star, Lighten 7068A, was discovered in 1948, followed by the discovery of its companion star, Lighten 7268B. These stars are known for their extreme changes in brightness. In 1952, for example, the brightness of one of them increased 75 times in just 20 seconds, placing it in the category of a variable star which experiences unpredictable increases in brightness for brief periods. On a journey of about 9.7 light years from Earth in the constellation of Sagittarius, we come across Ross 154, a red dwarf that, like the Luyten 726-8 system, is one of the stars that can increase its surface brightness in a matter of minutes. Ross 154 has one-tenth the diameter of our Sun and about 17% of the Sun's mass. It is predicted that Ross 154 will make its closest approach to the Sun in about 150,000 years, when it will be approximately six light years away. These were the 10 stars closest to us. Although they are close, we can only see two of them with the naked eye. Many of them are invisible neighbors to us. Did you know any of them? Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.